Hello again, Ian Stuckey with Mastermind Games here, back with Blackstone Fortress and the Rattling Twins, Rain and Rouse. Tan Skin 09044. Doing them next because I still don't have a good color scheme figured out for UR025 as much as I'd love to paint the uh, robot, but. <clears throat> so. Warhammer 40,000 implements a lot of fantasy elements, demons, orcs, the Eldar equivalent to elves. There's even a race called the Squads that were at one point a thing, but have since been munched by the Tyranids. But Ratlings are equivalent to Halflings, and they are Abhumans. Well, Halflings, Hobbits, but as Abhumans, they are a, mutated, a mutant uh, derivative of the human genome. And, well, all abhumans are generally hated, some are tolerated, with the Ratlings being in that group. Now, Rouse here is the one with the grappling hook. Rain has a sniper rifle. But... Ratlings are val valuable to the uh, Aspromilitar and the Imperial Guard because... Their small size and excellent hand-eye coordination and vision make them very good snipers. I'm sure there's a better way I could say that, but I can't think of what it could be right now. But I forgot they've got bare feet. So used to painting shoes. <laughs> and yet they do have uh, furry feet, so hobbits all around. <laughs> Anywho, Ratlings have a uh, reputation for being good cooks and larcenous, and it's highly likely that Ray and Rouse stole the ship they arrived at Precipice in. A ship that also happened to have UR025 aboard it, though it's probably not coincidence. But their inspiration condition is, uh, or secret agenda is the actual word I'm looking for, I gotta be careful about that, is to have a specific discovery card. And that's all there is to it. I've read the rules for Blackstone Fortress two or three times already. I'm going to make sure to go through them again before I actually play once I get all these videos done. And again, I do not want to hear what's in that little envelope. I want to find out for myself. And while I could open it any time, I want to play the game properly and, you know, see what the surprise is. And I'm aware at this point that the Dreaded Anvil expansion's out. I will get that eventually. I don't know when. Sooner rather than later, I think. But uh, definitely not until I've gotten the base set of Blackstone Fortress finished up. Olive Green 09035. So, based on their gear, Ray and Ross were likely part of uh, the uh, Imperial Guard at one point. Well, but there's not a whole lot about them as a whole in the. the uh, lore that came with the game, just uh, that they probably stole their ship, and that they're 
looking for something. It's going to be one of the more elaborate paint jobs just because of all the little knickknacks, but. Since our color scheme I'm basing off a standard, uh, you know, military type thing, it's a little easier for me to figure out than some of the more elaborate palettes I'm using on some of these characters. Yeah, it's this is the first thing I'm doing in the morning, so I still haven't completely woken up yet. Still haven't finished my coffee. <laughs> When I say that the Imperium of Man overall hates abhumans, it goes rather extreme. The one time I've seen abhumans mentioned in a book I've got was during uh, the Beast Arises series. There's an attack moon above Holy Terra, Space Marines. Several chapters worth, all uh, successors to the Imperial Fists have arrived, are raiding it. In a cell full of human and abhuman prisoners, well, one human and a bunch of abhuman prisoners. I can't remember what chapter this uh, Astartes is from, but he mercilessly guns down all of the abhumans in the cell, leaving only the regular human alive. And is politely told plea to uh, please check with the commanding officer before executing any abhumans. As they were permitted, as the ones he killed were permitted. So, yeah. Again, a grim, dark game. So grim and dark that even its creators can't help but make fun of it. As the more serious you try to make something, the more people will uh, try to make fun of it. And really, all the Warhammer games are definitely something that they took a little too seriously from the, at the beginning. Oh, all right, that's got their fatigues and their skin tone. And I'm gonna let this dry for a bit before I move on. Okay, next up. Tarnished Steel 09206 <sighs> Armor and combat, or at least part of their combat knives. Not doing anything too terribly fancy here. I feel like I forgot something, but I can't think of what it would be. Whatever. We got the uh, cable and his grappling hook gun and the steel as well.
and I got no grip today. Well, that might be explosives. We'll just. Sticking out of his pack, I suppose. Did this thumb is looking a bit on rain here. As much of his uh, black armor is showing, though, mostly because that sniper rifle over it. Ruddy leather zero nine one one zero. are made of either recycled waste or recycled people. Holster for the pistol, that's a, I believe a stub pistol. But was talking about assault rifles, las guns in an earlier video. I think it was Taddeus the Purifier. I was actually thinking of a auto rifle that has the same stats as the las gun. has a lost an eye and has not received any kind of replacement cybernetic for it. Probably because, you know, rattling and Imperium racism. say it is fairly comic how much stuff these two have. I mean, Rain here has got a mini fridge 
they pointed that out specifically when they previewed the this uh, pair of models before Blackstone Fortress came out last year. I've got gray hair, so uh, 09039, so they're showing the official artwork is with having gray hair, beards, sideburns, um, so I'm going to go ahead and stick with that with rainy gray 09038. Juve treatments to prolong their lives. Likely no one would uh, give it to a rattling. But I found out there was a mod for the uh, PlayStation 3 era Space Marine game to throw in a chaplain that'll talk about uh, the racism of Warhammer 40,000. And that is an issue that our species needs to deal with in the real world. It seems like it was getting better, and now it seems like it's getting worse in the last few years. I have faith we will get this sorted out. But it is a disturbing thing to deal with. Okay. I've got a couple colors left. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry for a minute before I move on though. Alright. Stormy Gray 09088. I'm not sure exactly what this thing on his pack is supposed to be, but I think it's supposed to be a bipod for his rifle. Rain's got some night vision goggles there.
40k rolls, Rouse has a demolition charge. Pretty much just a big hit, and I'm gonna miss a bit of steel. I'll just go ahead and take care of there. So, in other words, a really big hit. It's only once a game, but. Uh, And Blackstone Fortress, you know, you're getting two for one with your pick for them as an explorer. Mm. Well, the book addresses how they work. It's not really any different. Because you still have, you know, each dice you spend lets you do one thing with one model, basically, so... And each time one of them takes damage, they take damage as a whole, so it's not really all that different. Okay. Now for some bright colors. We have green 09011. Like I said earlier, this looks like a big sack full of produce. Zero nine zero zero four fire red. device on there. And this slit this uh looks like a mine. Circular, that's the word I'm looking for. I'm still tired. I haven't been feeling well. And this on the back looks like dynamite. So bright red sticks of high explosives. Okay now as for Rops. What color, all I need to do is me fridge. What color do I want to do that in? Oh, let's go with True Blue 3 last minute decision hmm. of course another funny idea would be to uh, base it off of uh, the ultramarines do an ultramarine blue with the uh, ultramarine symbol on it make it look like that's where he got it from or stole it from but base coat, so we'll come back to this in a bit, but getting there. Alright, time to start shading. Let's see where the best place to start. We'll start on the mini fridge. Sapphire Blue 09016. The twins here, they are twins, have a fairly elaborate paint job in terms of numbers of colors number of colors, but then Zero nine zero three seven. This would be used to shade both the gray and the hair. So, Let's start with Rouse. Just so Rain's fridge can dry for a little bit. Get his uh. 
side burns and is roguing slaughtered feet in the aspects. The mine. At least I'm assuming this is an explosive device and not, you know, like a spare manhole cover he's hauling around. <laughs> yeah, the grip to his stub pistol's kind of hidden behind all the stuff he's carrying. I've thinned this black out a little more than usual. It's easy to go way too far when you're using a straight black, so just bear that in mind. Pistol, foot hair, foot hair. And then rifle here. A little more on his feet. Okay. Let that dry completely and move on to the next as soon as I can. Well, actually, I think there's one more I can do before I move on. Yeah, I can get uh, Ross's dynamite, so blood red 09003. And actually, I can get his produce too, so let's just go ahead and do those. So. Blood Red 09003 real quick here. Try to do as many of these as I'm able to at once to save time in the long run. So. And then Pine Green 09010. Bag full of leafy grains to eat. All right, now we'll go ahead and uh, give this a rest for a bit. Oh, come on, focus. Okay, ruddy leather zero nine one zero nine. Actually, before I touch that, I'll get started with uh, the Auspex zero nine zero three eight. Rainy gray. I'm still having a little trouble with that, so getting that exactly the way I want it. So. I'm going to start sample lighting effects now with a layer of gray over this, this gray over the screen. Now 
will take what is rather. some problems. rain. We'll try to do the steel next. So black and steel, 09205. Right now it looks like Rain's got some pretty bad stubble, but <laughs> kind of interesting too. Let's see what happens as I go along with this. That is actually all of the steel on the raid now, Rouse. And yeah, that weather is still very wet, but I'm going to try this anyway and see what we end up with. So that's going to leave the flesh tone and the green, the olive green. That's about it, actually. So we're in good shape so far. Or it would be if I could get the camera to focus a little better. <laughs> okay. Olive shadow, or no, muddy olive 09034.
get started on some lighting effects. So pure white zero nine zero three nine. Let's do a little pattern in the light on the aspects here. Vision sniper goggles, so I'll paint them as such. Okay. Move on a bit. Alright, last of the shading. Tanned Shadow 09043. And pale green zero nine zero one two. Just use this on both lighting effects. Completely, then I can move on. Okay, time to highlight in detail. So, pure white 09039 will get the eyeballs this time. Starting with rain. with his one eye. Pure black, zero nine zero three seven. I'll do this twice in this step. First to get pupils in the gun barrel of Rain's rifle. This is about empty, but I, there we go. That, that'll be enough to do what I need to do. Now 
out the proper highlight. Tanned highlight 09045. Rubbing on a paper towel to get most of the paint out and lightly dusting. These guys have proportionally huge feet. So much shit, I'm gonna be completely dry yet. Okay. Do some hair. Next with rainy gray again, zero nine zero three eight. Which gives them the impression of being grizzled old veterans. Basically switching brushes after every shade or highlight since I've got so many. Pale olive 09036. Because you want your brush completely dry for this step, so. Whoa, almost took out my uh, box of brushes. Let's do burnt orange zero nine one one one. Actually, let's get pale green zero nine zero one two first and do uh, Rouse's bag of produce. Those look like leafy greens more than anything else. There's a method to this now. Let's see, not that brush. This one. Now for bored to orange. Which is plugged up, so paper clip a hole. Or, that's not the right word. 
I'm going to hold this button. Jammed. There we go. Commit and sky blue zero nine zero one eight on the mini fridge at Rain's Hall and for some reason. I'm assuming based on the lore it's full of food. Hopefully it's full of food. is dynamite with zero nine zero zero five Phoenix red. That is not mixed thoroughly enough. Let's try that again. Silver zero nine zero or zero nine two zero seven. Not much of this on these two. Zero nine zero eight nine cloudy gray. Not that one. Let's see here, this one. Do I have the right brush to do the job?
Okay, that's actually uh, takes care of highlights. So now I just need to take pure black again. I don't have quite enough. So that's zero nine zero three seven again. They make such lovely noises when they when those run out. And a flat headed brush. gets the uh, bases line, so once that completely dries, I can get the rock debris on him. Alright, let's get the basing on. <clears throat> it's all finally dry, that took longer than I expected. So, mix of fine, medium, and coarse talus, or rock debris. White glue. And a sacrificial brush. And the reason I show this every single time is because you excuse me, you get this through repetition. So the more you practice, the better you get. Mix it all up there, keeping your brush wet. Don't use your best one, use a one that you're basically sacrificing. And paint around the feet. Dip it in your material. Take a second brush that's dry and just push away from area you don't want it on. And I looked out on Rouse, except for some reason it got all over his upper body. Huh. Don't the rain. At least hopefully I haven't mixed up their names again. I've been doing that a lot. Okay, that's a pretty good coat, but we'll still push it away from bits and pieces. It's going to have to set for a bit before I seal it, but we're just about done. Oh, come on. Focus, come on. Oh, boy. Shop. Sprayer brush on adhesive. Glass eye dropper. And just carefully drip around the feet. You need to give your material time to set before you do this, otherwise this will only push it around instead of sealing it into a rock hard finish. Well actually we'll push it around and then seal it, but you'll end up with holes in that. Rambling a bit. It doesn't take much. Just clean out any water and
And there's your two for one Blackstone Fortress Explorer, Rain and Rouse, the Rattling Twins. So, continuing on with this. Until I'm done. Why the camera does not like these guys. Well, until next time, I am Ian Stokey with Mastermind Games, signing out.